Good morning, everybody. Well, if you saw five stupid things last week, or anything else, you know that the Christians are all still with us, the rapture didn't happen, the world didn't come to an end. Who saw that one coming? Welcome back, Christians. Glad you could stay. Actually, you picked a pretty good week to stick around because I don't think I'm going to uh, ridicule or discredit your faith at all this week. In this video, the following comments are taken from editions of Mail Call printed in the Herald Mail from May 16th through May 27th, 2011, which can be viewed online in their entirety at www.herald-mail.com. First up from Hagerstown. Are we just celebrating bin Laden's death, or are we celebrating the many lives that will be saved in the future due to his death? Speaking only for myself, I'm outwardly reveling in the death of bin Laden at every opportunity, while keeping my happiness at the lives saved on the down low. It's more dignified that way. This is for all those teachers and all those people who think the teachers should be earning far above what the taxpayers are making. Taxpayers in Washington County don't make what you make, and they have to pay taxes to support you, and you got your education off their dime. So you shouldn't. If you want to make more money because of your degrees, then go to the private sector and see if you can make it there. Normal people in Washington County don't make $30,000. Hagerstown. No, they make $36,000. Assuming by normal you mean average. Oh, <laughs> shit, do you make less than that? Well, well, hey, hey, somebody has to make below the average, right? Half the somebody's, actually. I mean, that's that's how that's how statistics work. Call me a birther, deather, no lander. I think President Obama's birth certificate is a fake. Bin Laden is still alive, and man has not landed on the moon. And no real Republican should think otherwise. Hagerstown. I'm sure there are a few local Democrats who wish that more Republicans thought the way you do. I wouldn't call you a birther or a deather or a no-lander, though. I would call you an imbecile. No, no, a cretin. Yeah, I like that better. You're a cretin. I was reading in today's paper where O'Malley signs immigration tuition bill, but I don't see John Donahue in there anywhere. I don't read anything about John Donahue. I'm sure he's for whatever the governor's for. He's not for what the people are for. So please print something in the paper that lets me know where Delegate Donahue stands. I know he's all together with the governor, with whatever the governor says. Funkstown. If you already know he always stands with the governor, why do you need the paper to tell you where he stands? <laughs> hey, hey, you're a cretin too. <laughs> I would like to make it clear, since everyone seems to be confused, that President Obama did not get Osama bin Laden. Our soldiers did. They simply called and asked the president if they were allowed to proceed. After that, he gave permission and they went in and got Osama. Greencastle, PA. Eh, wrong. It was actually, uh, can I get like a buzzer or something to play there? To signify the wrongness of this call? No, that's... That's, that's not quite there. Do you have anything stronger you can... Ah, ah. There we go. Wrong. That is not what happened. The SEALs didn't track bin Laden and then call the president for permission to go in and get him. Obama analyzed the intelligence, decided that it was worth taking the considerable risk of sending the SEALs in there, and then ordered them in. Yes, true, it was the SEALs who got bin Laden, not Obama personally. He did not personally join the mission. But it was Obama who decided to send them in there. They did not just call from the helicopter to ask for permission from the timid liberal commander-in-chief. President Obama decided to act. Get it straight. Fucking cretin. All right, I'll stop. I wonder could somebody explain to me why it is so necessary to use so much foul, filthy language anymore. I've been watching TV and everything on these TV shows, even the family shows, have nothing but foul language. What's up and why do they use it? Falling Waters, West Virginia. I don't know. I'm with you. I think our culture should be forcibly scrubbed of everything potentially offensive or coarse or crass so that all that's left will be 
nice, pleasant, non-threatening, unchallenging things, suitable for sensitive six-year-olds or miserable, malcontented old cunts so preoccupied with trying to think of anything other than their swiftly approaching deaths that they've apparently forgotten how to change the fucking channel. Since I will turn 65 in a few weeks, I went to our local Social Security to get information on Medicare. I asked for a booklet or pamphlet to read that explained the benefits. I was directed to a rack on the wall. Every pamphlet there was written in Spanish. When I asked where the pamphlets printed in English were, I was told, we don't have any. You'll have to go on the internet to get information. I don't own a computer or have access to one. I guess I'll have to find an interpreter. Hagerstown. At least the Spanish-speaking people haven't been reading the Medicare pamphlets. I'd have thought you would find that reassuring. They talk about how much education you get from going to college. Why can't anyone in Washington balance a checkbook? Hagerstown. Nobody ever taught me how to balance a checkbook in college. Of course, I was an English major, so... Can someone please tell me the phone number to call when neighbors have one, two, three feet tall weeds and grass in their yards? This is getting ridiculous in this county, Washington County. No, but I can get you the number of a support group for people aggravated by imaginary bullshit problems that would go away if they just tried to mind their own fucking business. You know, we used to have a weed out here on the sidewalk in front of our front steps. It grew to be about three feet tall one year. It was sad when somebody finally came along and cut it down. <sighs> but I found you, didn't I, Weedy? Yeah, you sweet little thing. Say hi. Say hi to the people, Weedy. Say hi to the people, Weedy. I agree with the letter to the editor in Thursday's paper, May 19th. I think Tim Rowland is completely being unfair to Neil Parrott and to those of us who agree with his position. What part of illegal don't they understand? I mean, we have enough problems with the economy, and then they want to just give our money away to people that aren't even here legally? So I think every time they don't agree with the right-wing beliefs, they call us racist or we're fear-mongers, and that's just wrong. We have our beliefs. You can have your beliefs. Don't do any name-calling. Hagerstown. Much of the opposition to the new tuition law is based on racism and fear-mongering. Is it still name-calling if the names are accurate? Why do I say it's based on racism and fear-mongering? Because it's not based on facts. Fact. In order to claim in-state tuition, a child from an illegal immigrant family must not only first attend a two-year community college, but also demonstrate that his or her family has been paying state taxes. In other words, they're not just giving our money away. It's not a handout. It's an extension of an opportunity to the children of a few deserving, hard-working, tax-paying, contributing families to try and make a better life for themselves. These kinds of opportunities are why immigrants, illegal and legal, come here in the first place, and our desire and willingness to make those opportunities available to as many deserving people as possible is one of the things that makes this, at times, such a great country. That's my belief, anyway. And see, I expressed it without name-calling. You fucking cocks. This is on rain. I can't believe all the rain we're getting. But the only thing I can say is I hope the federal government eliminates this NASA program or cuts its funding so bad that it can't put any more spaceships up in the sky. These spaceships they're putting up are changing the atmosphere. It isn't man-made. Every time they put a spaceship or rocket or whatever you want to call it up in space like that, it rains for a week or a month. But I think it's time for the cut. They shouldn't put any more spaceships up in the atmosphere. Hagerstown. Congratulations for making it on twice in the same video. You fucking cretin. The first guy. I called a cretin. If you're an illegal immigrant in a foreign country, do you think they would teach you their language and give you an education to make you a better person? Oh, wait a minute. Yes, they would. While you're doing time in their local prison, cutting potatoes and making rocks. Hagerstown. So, the United States should set the example for foreign countries in every area except how we treat illegal immigrants. In that one area, we should just do what everybody else does, or at least what you imagine everybody else does. Just making sure I've got it straight. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Didn't that last guy who mentioned illegal immigration say the name Neil Parrott? I think he did. Do you know who Neil Parrott is? Yeah, that, that, that's the guy. That's, yes, Neil Parrott. Yeah, he's the guy, the state delegate, who wants to forcibly tattoo people with AIDS. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but... And finally, from Hagerstown, these disrespectful Harley riders up here on West Church Street, Key Avenue, and Dekata, for some reason, they think they own the road, both sides of it, coming and going. Well, they got a surprise the other day because I just flat out told them they weren't going to intimidate me like they do the older folks in this neighborhood. Now, hopefully, maybe somebody on the city police force will read this mail call, but these guys definitely need to be taught a lesson. They just ride around like they own the place, making lots of noise. Why is this anonymous? I, I want to know this man. I want to know his name. I want to shake his hand, buy him a beer or a Coke, or even a Pepsi, whatever he's into. Because I really, well, not whatever he's into, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to suck his cock if that's what he's into. Not, not that there's anything wrong with being into that. It's just, I mean, it's, it's not my thing. It, it, it might be somebody else's thing, which is perfectly fine. It, it's not my, I mean, maybe I, I'm not going to do it myself. Maybe I could hook him up. Maybe somebody else would want to not... Not that I know anybody who would suck off a stranger just because I asked them to. I mean, uh, I don't think anybody I... Or maybe I do. Maybe someone I know would be willing to do that. And what would be so wrong with that? If that's their thing, if, if they want to do that, you know, who am I to judge? You know what? I'm just going to stop. Thanks for watching. Happy Memorial Day.